We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be having a look at the Hussar Project Hussar Vapes. Sorry. Hussar Vapes. Project X Mouth to Lung. Uh, now, I, I have shown you this off before. This was the original Project X. Uh, I think it was last November. I think I showed you this, uh, which I I still got. I use. I really like it. I've told you this before. We've, we've covered this in detail before. Um, and, and I'll say it one more time, uh, is that I really like Hussar Vapes, I like where they've come from, I like the progression and the quality of their gear over the years and I, I say this hand on heart, um, I, I received no money for this, no nothing, uh, they didn't, did they send me chocolates? I think they might have sent me chocolates as well. Okay, so this might be um, biased, but the mouth to lung um, Project X is the machining on it is superb. It's amongst the best I've come across and and that makes me happy because at the start their gear was always a little bit rough around the edges um, O-ring tolerances and stuff like that used to kind of piss me off. This is perfect and, and it really does show. Uh, you're looking about, I think depending on the finish you go for, it's about 160, 180 euros. I have seen them. Uh, on some French websites and you've also got the Facebook group. They have actually been out since June, July this year so and there are other reviews out there that you can go and watch. This might be a high level one because it's very similar to the previous Project X but this one is specifically mouth to lung. Well actually that's a lie and I'm doing the politician thing. That's a lie. I am um, it comes with two one mil air hole inserts. It comes with inserts, this thing. They sent me on some other inserts and I'm actually trying the 1.5 ones as well. Uh, I don't think they come with it. I think you have to buy them separately. Uh, but the 1.5s, and I'm just, this is the setup I'm running just now. Um, modern standards that would be considered a loose mouth to lung but for me it's on the loose mouth to lung very very tight restricted direct lung uh, and so that's a two 1.5 mil inserts uh, but I'll show you everything that they sent me and, and try and explain this just a little bit better so close-ups so as always, when this arrived with me, this is the box I got. Inside the box we had a sticker, spare o-rings and screws, a drip tip and this. And, and once again, uh, I will say that, you know, presentation wise, we've got the Project X little badge on there, we've got a little baggie, we've got a 510 Atti stand here. The presentation is as good as it gets, it doesn't get any better, 10 out of 10, big thumbs up. Unscrew the Atti stand and take it out. Now I apologise, I have been using this for a few weeks and uh, I've, I've just given it a quick clean. Any scratches, dings, dents, anything you see on this were not there when it arrived. It's just because I've been using it day in, day out. Now just for a comparison at the start, uh, this is the original Project X and this is the Project X mouth to lung. And uh, you get an idea on the sizes. We'll start up the top and first thing is the drip tip. It's not a 510 drip tip. Uh, this is actually threaded on here. If I take that off, you can see what we have going on here. So we've got this like long drip tip and then we have this kind of like shorter version going on here, which I haven't been using myself because primarily it, it, it's mouth to lung this and, and I like the slightly longer drip tip. I think it's very nice looking with the Ultim and the stainless steel band. Uh, the only thing I think is you, you have to be careful when you're threading this on here. It catches quite easily and there we go. So that's it. Some people may see that as a, a con or a negative is the fact that you cannot use your own drip tips. I'm kind of in that camp but uh, it's just as well the ones that come with it are very nice. Now the main difference or one of the big differences is with the original Project X is and I will not tell you how long I spent, <laughs> I didn't know, I really didn't know. Uh, with the old one you pulled the top cap off, this bit is pulled off and you filled from the side. So when I took this out the packaging I was yeah, absolute idiot. 
uh, just holding the band here and you can see you've got these markings here just unscrew and then you've got your big kidney holes there they're absolutely massive you'll get your juice in there no problem and once again you will get two milliliters of juice inside this device threading's bang on I, I have zero issues with this at all uh, we'll actually take the tank to bits give you a quick look if you're a project x user from the past you'll know what's going on here so there's top cap off and we can then take the tank out of here as well off she comes so there's the, your juice is going to get fed down these two holes here. There's a corresponding holes here. Pop that tank back on. And the way this works is, see the markings here? And you've got the three dots or three strikes here. Well, when these line up, that means that your juice flow is open. Uh, if I just turn it back the way, like that, that's the juice flow closed off. So you can, it's, it's an easy indicator lined up then you should be wicking away and i do believe that all the other project x stuff is backward compatible with this as well so once again we're just going to pull the tank section off take that away and you can see how that goes there excuse my my dirty uh, original project x but you can see that it is slightly different this is more domed in here you know it's got a dome going in where this was just you know just flat edged but so there's there's a little bit of a design difference there for the mouth to lung version now the deck is once again it's very similar to the original version the, the main difference being here is that we have these little peak inserts going on and once again we have serial numbers here you know mtl down the bottom there for the mouth to lung designed and manufactured in poland we've got the, the gold plating going on here as before uh, they have their, their own special screws that they have manufactured specifically for the device. Uh, we've got the little locating nut here. Uh, if you remember right, where's it gone? You can see up here, see how you've got the two slots in the top cap there? Well, that's where this little guy fits in. It means that you know you're, it's only going to turn so far when you put the two pieces back together. Now, the airflow on this one is, you can see... If we look in here, we have a, a one mil air hole insert here, and a one mere, a one mere, a one mere, yes, one millimeter airflow insert here as well. Now, if what happens is, I'm not sure if you'll see that, but there is a hole just there, and same here. So what I can do is I've got a little toothpick kind of thing, and uh, you know I can just stick this in here and then just pull. It's the only thing. Uh, I wish they did have, it came with a tool uh, to help you get these things out. It doesn't, uh, but it just so happens, you know, I can use a, one of my little screwdrivers uh, or a little Allen key, we'll get them out as well. But once they're out, uh, I'll just drop that on the floor and we've got dog hair going on everywhere. So hopefully you can see here, see you've got two holes there and on the other side, we only have one hole. So you have one hole that goes straight through, that's your air hole, and the hole that's on top, uh, you know, so that's going to be facing in the way and it'll be located up the top because that's how you're going to lift it out. And, you know, so that just pushes in like that. And this should just go in like that. Now, once again, they did send on a 1.1, 1.3, and a 1.5 millimetre uh, inserts as well. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, they don't come with those in inserts. Uh, I think you have to buy them through the Facebook group. Uh, but I think, if I remember right, I did discuss the 1.5s at the beginning. So we'll, we'll just run with these because these are the ones that come out the box. Just mentioning this one last time, this is machined very, very well. It's done really, really well, this. Very impressed. There's nothing exciting about uh, putting a coil in here. I mean, I did a, a build in the previous video, but uh, we'll just, you can see I've got my coil pinned in there, and I'll just tighten this all down. Snip my legs off, give the coil a little pulse, and we're good to go there. You can see that the coil's lined up with the juice wells on either end here. Uh, Height-wise, I've actually... Yeah, I'm just using the, you know, where my rod went through and just making sure the air is just going to come through and just hit the base of the coil. Now, here's the fun part. Uh, 
there are different trains of thought on how you use your cotton in this. Now you would look at this and you would think, well, we've got our, our wells here. You can see you've got a little slot there where the, the cotton comes through um, and you would just tuck your cotton down in there. I don't uh, because I, I find that it doesn't wick the best when I do it that way. So I've just fluffed the cotton out as far as that. And uh, if you remember the Integra, it wicks, for me, uh, with heavy VG, certainly, it wicks best when you kind of build it like an Integra. I'm literally sticking my scissors down inside the juice well there and cutting them off. Look how short I'm cutting that. It's thinned it, I thinned it right out. So it just means, because this, if you see here, see how this is when your cap goes on, it's going to be sitting flat like that. So you don't want your, your, your cotton to be sitting all bumped up. So it's just nice and flat going down across to that well. And that's me. That's as much as actually, I've actually used a little bit more than I normally would. It's kind of like the, with the Integra, um, you, you've always used too much cotton if you've got an Integra. And this is kind of the same. You just use less than you think you should be using and you'll be spot on. So now I'm just going to take my cap and remember, you've got your locating pin here that goes with the slots here. I'm just going to pop that down. You'll hear a satisfying click. There we go. And just spin it to the side. And there we go. So you can actually adjust your airflow if you want. It doesn't really make that much difference, to be honest. I find adjusting it on the outside here. But uh, yeah, there we go. I almost forgot to mention the 22.5 the diameter thing. It's... It's a, a slight bugbear if you use uh, the, the Project X on a, a mech tube, 22mm mech tube, it is noticeable. It is noticeable. Uh, I, I, I almost wish they would just take it down that 0.5 and make it just a pure 22mm. But anyway, there we go. Uh, fully open. Uh, once again, the build, uh, the, the, it's very easy to build on this. Uh, it's, it's so straightforward. Uh, the actual cotton is the tricky bit. I, I wouldn't even necessarily say that. Uh, don't go piling the cotton in there. You don't need a lot. In fact, you, you don't even need cotton going into the juice wells, in my opinion. Just bridging that little gap between the, the actual inner deck and the juice wells, and it's, it's bang on. Uh, I mean, I'm in a heavy VG just now, and it's it wicks away, no issues, no issues at all. The draw on it, it's mouth to lung, for sure. It's it's um, it's two one millimeter air holes. Uh, it's take your average pod system these days that they call mouth to lung. This is tighter than that. Um, it's. It's not, I, th I think some people might possibly like a 0 0.8. Um, I, I'm not sure if they do them. I honestly don't know, but it, it would be, it could go tighter. Uh, I know some old school mouth to lungers would like it a bit tighter than what it is just now with the one mil air holes. Uh, but you can also get a blanking insert one a blanking insert as well so you would just have the one one mil air hole coming but um, it'd be nice if they did the 0 0.8s as well uh, forget running it without the inserts um, it's just the airflow is all wrong and it, and it whistles and it's noisy and it's not nice uh, it's incredibly smooth and and two thumbs up I absolutely bloody love this I think I don't vape mouth to lung day in day out like I used to. Um, I still enjoy mouth to lung, but I'm more restricted direct lung. This is, and I don't normally say this kind of thing. I don't come out and say, this is my all time favorite. This, this is the best I've seen this year and stuff like that. I, I, I don't because anyway, um, but this, I, I rate very highly for a mouth to lung tank and I really like the machining on it. it they've done a superb job. It, a big two thumbs up. Cons, however, the drip tip. The drip tip for some people, uh, not being able to use your own 510 drip tip might be an issue. Um, 
I, I really like the fact I can top fill it without having to pull the cap off with the o-ring tolerances and uh, all that stuff from the old stuff uh, it, it's, it's bang on now to fill up but yes the no 510 drip tip might be a aside from that um, if you find that you're putting your tank on top of the deck and turning it and it's not moving chances are it's because your insert is not pushed down fully my 1.5 millimeter inserts where one of them was the, the machining on it was a little bit in the rough side so i had to push it down quite hard to get it to go in because the, the tank wouldn't shut right down properly um i do i know it sounds daft um but i do wish there was a, a little tool uh that just whatever that came with it to enable you to pull the inserts out because that hole is is tiny it's really small to pull the insert out uh, so that's maybe a possible another con um, you can readily buy these they are available that's a positive uh, filling system juice flow control works wicks great and that's a 2.5 id i've only been using 2.5 id coils inside here i've not used a 3 mil because for me it's more mouth to lung so 2 2.5 2.5 i think is bang on and you saw the coil i put in there i mean that is actually that's coming out at uh, one ohm again and that's at 15 watts uh, I'm going to stop there. Uh, there's there's a lot of crossover between um, you know obviously the the original Project X. If you had the original Project X, and and you like your restricted direct lung and uh, direct lung, then stick with that. You'll be happy with that. Uh, if you want a mouth to lung version, this is for you. And and once again, I think they've done a superb job on it. I really really do. A couple of little niggles, but it's not deal breakers as far as I'm concerned. Uh, thank you to the gang at Hussar Vapes for sending on chocolate and the Atty. Uh, uh, great work. Seriously, very, very impressed. Um, and until next time, bye for now.